Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time because it's Friday. It's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. If you've been following the channel, you know that several weeks ago, I released a, a short five minute video talking about the Vituvia electric bicycle. This edition of Friday's Finds doesn't have a theme, but I have a couple of products that I'm really excited about. I'm excited to share them with you. So we're, we're just gonna call it the Winging It Edition. And as I was saying, the Vituvia e-bike is one of those products that I wanted to share with you. This is a 750 watt folded electric bicycle. 20 inch fat tires. These are four inches wide. It gives you nice, gives you a nice smoother ride have, having the fat tires. It also helps with sand and snow loose material. And you can actually air them down and ride on the sand. It's a 750 watt motor that is powered by a 48 volt 13 amp battery. And that 13 amps is on par with just about most of your good quality electric bikes. It has a headlight so that you can ride at night. It has a front suspension that is adjustable. I find it to be very responsive. It has a spring, a cushion seat. Now those, uh, I don't know if that's, I think those are rubber springs. The Vituvia offers a front cargo basket as well as a rear cargo basket. Disc brakes front and rear, they're cable disc. If you find yourself getting an electric bike, you want to adjust your brake pads. So if when you get it, you hear rubbing, you need to open them up just a little bit. You don't want them rubbing all the time. You want them right on the cusp. So that when you squeeze it, they grab, but if they're rubbing, that disc will get hot and it'll warp. It'll also, you'll also go through your pads much faster. Now I've added the, the little bag so that it came with a toolkit. And I use this little bag to transport the tools. Here's the toolkit. That's everything you need to work on this electric bike. One of the things I really like, it is a twist grip as opposed to a thumb grip. It's got a Shimano shifter. Very easy to shift. You just push the buttons and push the lever does not have a cruise control, but what it does have, you don't have to do anything special to put this into a class three mode. Now, if you're not familiar with e-bike classifications, there are three classes of e-bikes. Class one is pedal assist only. So when you pedal, the motor kicks on. Class two is pedal assist and throttle. And a class three, is throttle only. And I've heard people refer to this type of setup as being able to put it into the class three mode. That's not true at all because on a class three, you have no pedals. But this already has the throttle engaged. So you don't have to do anything special to get the most out of the bike. So on pedal assist, it tops out at about 20 miles an hour. Straight throttle, on the other hand, gives you another eight miles per hour or additional power, whichever way you need it. The battery does come off and there's some security measures. So if you take this key out, you can't energize the battery. If you remove the battery completely, there's no way anybody could ride that bike. Now, I, I take the battery uh, off to charge it rather than leaving it on the bike. 
Not sure why. A lot of people are saying that's the best way to do it. Uh, in the little short five minute video that I did, I showed you how to fold it and that it would fit in the back of the SUV, the, the small, the QX60 SUV. To get here, where I am on this location, I folded it up and put it on the rack of Trudy Thunder. Made a little modification for that purpose as well. I actually put a piece of treated plywood. That way the tires don't flip down between the bars. So that's product number one for today's Friday's finds. We'll go to product number two. That'll be later in the day. I gotta go play. Tractor Supply had firewood. It was $7 a bundle. Bigger bundles. Uh, it's four and a half miles from here to Tractor Supply and <laughs> the Vituvia did a fantastic job. Although I think a trailer would be, trailer would make it easier. Stay tuned, more to come. On this edition of Friday's Finds, we started out at Lake Mineral Well State Park and we've since traveled. To, we're on our second, third location. We're at Hordes Creek Lake. Hordes Creek Lake, Friendship Park. It's been chilly. And, and yep, yep, although, you remember, we've been burning wood in the fire pit. We really like that. But Yappy, Yappy doesn't like to get next to the fire because it makes her smell like smoke and that gives her a headache. And anyway, so, so when the neighborhood reached out to me and said, would I be interested in their product? I was like, well, yeah, that'll make my wife real happy. And what they have, the neighborhood electric patio heater check this bad boy out it's on a telescoping tripod up to seven feet tall it's a 1500 watt electric heater i think that's like a tungsten element in there it gets plenty hot and you just you can feel the, the radiant heat out to about right here this is good stuff I did find one interesting thing though. It wouldn't work in two state parks. Even plugged directly into the power pedestal, it I got I, I, it wouldn't work. I don't know. But we used it here last night and it worked great. And it worked great on the patio at RV home base. Okay. Lift it up. All this extra stuff is if you want to mount it to the wall. Oh, that's what those socks are for. Those are feet to keep your tripod feet from getting muddy, I guess. All we need now is some power. Let's see if it, how well it works. You'll need two AA batteries.
but it's it's putting out some heat. You know, it, it's it's radiant heat. It's not forced air. That's gonna make Yappy most happy out here on the patio. It's a 1500 watt electric heater. I think that's like a tungsten element in there. It gets plenty hot. This thing is, I, I, I'm very impressed with this. This this makes Yappy very happy when we're hanging out on the patio. Link will be in the card and in the description. That'll, that'll take you to the fri Friday's finds shopping list on the, the Dude RV Gear recommendation page on Amazon. You'll also find the Vituvia e-bike on there. Love that thing. I cannot tell you how much we enjoy that e-bike. I've used it to explore all of Horge Creek. The third item we're going to talk about on this random edition of Friday's Finds. If you're traveling in an RV and you're plugging into power, you never really know what you're plugging into. You roll up, there's a power pedestal. You open it up, and you got all kinds of stuff in there. You don't know who's been working on that. I've seen it where the plugs had been replaced by somebody that wasn't an electrician and they, they went you know brought a home depot plug and put in there and wired it up wrong so you never know even in a public campground i've had two texas state parks where the the pedestal was was wrong fortunately i had the right tool in the form of a surge suppressor rattle vibe Provides you with a with peace of mind. Now this is a surge suppressor, and it's cool because it's not just a surge suppressor; it is a circuit tester. So when you plug it in, if you get two green lights, you're good. And it, if there's an issue, if you don't have two green lights, you don't want to plug into that at all. That'll screw up a chip or something, and you'll end up spending thousands having your RV repaired. This is a value right here. It actually includes, whoops, in case you can't find a, a 50, a 30 amp plug, and all that's available is 50, they give you an adapter. Let's check it out. It's a little bit windy today. So here is the Rattle Vibe RV Surge Protector. It actually has a rain cover on it. You always want to make sure your the breaker is off before you plug anything in. And then we're going to turn it on. And looky there. We've got two green lights. So we would be safe to plug into this one. You're not going to find the UL approved label on it. The, the plug is UL tested. The RV surge protector is not UL listed. But the UL listing, you know, I have mixed feelings about that because you can buy anything. And I'll leave it at that. But I think this is a heck of a value for the price point compared to most others on Amazon. That's a heck of a deal. And it, also, it too will be in the Friday's Finds playlist. That brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. This random, no theme whatsoever, campground edition of Friday's Finds. Look at this cool campsite. I gotta just share this with you. You'll be seeing this in a few weeks. If this is your first visit to Dude RV and you enjoyed our little Friday's Find edition, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. 
that's why I get to do what I do out here amongst the oak trees. Thank you for that and for my patrons. I am most grateful. You rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?